dear students welcome in the lecture on that uh, metal allyl complexes so in this lecture we will uh, discuss about the uh, methods of preparation bonding and properties of metal allylic complexes and uh, this uh, these allyl uh, ligand is under the pi bonded ligand category so these allyl uh, ligand they can also form back bonding with the metal so now we will discuss about the metal allyl complexes so this allyl ligand it act as actor ligand actor ligands which uh, the ligands which are used during the chemical reaction uh, while uh, it is not acting as spectator ligands actually the spectator ligands they remains as such and they do not uh, participate in the chemical reaction so this allyl ligand uh, act as actor ligand it may bind to the metal in two ways it can uh, bind as a monohepto ligand or it can bind as triheptol ligand so it can act as eta 1 ligand or it can act as eta 3 ligand so this is an example here you can see that here this allyl group this is the allyl group and this is bonded to the metal center as eta 1 or monohepto ligand so this is binded through only one carbon atom so this is the carbon atom of allyl group and this metal atom is bonded to this carbon group through uh, only one carbon atom so this is also called as x type uh, this x type ligand x type ligand means they are one electron donor ligand so they are attached to the metal center through one carbon atom only now the second type uh, is this uh, this is eta 3 type or triheptol type here you can see that all the three carbon atoms they are bind to the metal center so likewise uh, all the three carbon atoms they are involved in the bonding with metal center and these two met, uh, these two structures they are resonance structures of this Uh, structure so this is the resonance hybrid of these two resonating structures here you can see that if it is acting as eta 3 ligand that is 1 2 3 so it it is also called as lx type ligand so lx for l for two electron donor i have explained in the uh, olefinic ligand uh, uh, that is video Uh, where i i have already told you that the l type means which can donate one electron pair to the metal center and x means which can donate one electron to the metal center so again it becomes three electron donor so here the ligand is acting as lx type ligand now what kind of bonding is there in metal allyl bond so to uh, know about to know more about the bonding in metal allyl ligand allyl complexes you have to first study about its molecular orbitals so as you know that there are three carbon atoms 1 2 3 so there are three carbon atoms in the allylic ligand this is the allylic ligand you can see that one carbon two carbon three carbon so there is one double bond so uh, we have seen that there are three electron may be present in the pi orbitals so there are three p orbitals one p orbital with this carbon atom one p orbital with this carbon atom and one p orbital with this carbon atom which are uh, in uh, which are forming pi bond okay so there are three p pi electrons one is with car this carbon one is with this carbon one with this carbon so there are three pi electrons and three p orbitals in this allylic system now when uh, according to molecular orbital theory when two centers uh, linearly combine they will form three molecular orbital if three centers combine they will form three molecular orbital if four centers combine they will form four uh, four uh, molecular orbitals so as you have studied the molecular orbital theory of uh, large complexes like octahedral square planar and tetrahedral complexes in the msc uh, second semester uh, you have seen that when the metal and these kind of complex these kind of ligands they form complex then first of all these ligand centers they first form 
ligand group orbitals so they are also molecular orbitals so first they form orbitals then those orbitals they will combine with the uh, with the appropriate symmetry metal orbital to form the complex so here i have shown the molecular orbitals of allylic ligand so these three carbon p orbitals which are having three electrons one with this one with this and one with this so these three p orbitals they will first linearly combine to form molecular orbitals of ligands so these are three molecular orbitals of ligands because three carbon centers they are going to combine so they will form three molecular orbitals so this orbital is having the lowest energy as you can see that their lobes Uh, pos with the positive sign they are of the on the same side so there is no node in this case uh, this lobe is having plus uh, sign and this is having minus sign so there is one node okay so in this case you can see that plus minus plus so one node is there in between plus and minus and one node is there in between plus and minus so as the number of nodes increases the energy of the orbital will also increase so this is having the lowest energy this then this then this this is the anti bonding molecular orbital of allylic system so due to presence of three carbon atoms the uh, allylic group will uh, linearly combine the carbon uh, orbit uh, the p orbital will combine to form these three molecular orbitals and as you know that each carbon atom is having one pi electron so there are total three pi electrons okay so there are three molecular orbitals in one molecular orbital there uh, maybe two electrons can be filled so two electrons here and one electron here so total number of electrons become three so we have named uh, this orbital as psi1 this as psi2 and this as psi3 so this orbital is also known as homo this is highest occupied molecular orbital because this orbital is having electron and ha having the highest energy and this orbital is having no electron so it is the lowest energy orbital that is unoccupied so this is known as lumo now you can see that there is one electron so it can donate either this electron thus uh, it can act as uh, eta 1 or mono hepto ligand or it can donate these two electrons and this one electron so th that it can act as eta 3 or tri hepto ligand so you can see that these two orbitals they are going to participate for sigma bonding because these electrons can be donated by the ligand to the metal center so this this will form the sigma bond now this is the empty anti bonding molecular orbital and this orbital can accept electron from the metal center so that pi back bonding can takes place so this psi3 will going to participate in pi bonding while the psi1 and psi2 they are going to participate in sigma bonding now uh, i have already written that psi1 and psi2 they can form sigma interaction because there is one electron which can uh, the psi1 can form l type dative bonding Uh, because it is having one lone pair of electrons so it can donate two electrons to the metal center while psi2 forms x type covalent bonding with the metal d orbitals and psi3 will form pi bond now after formation of these uh, orbitals these are the ligand molecular orbitals so uh, these ligand uh, orbitals they will combine with the metal orbitals having the same symmetry so if we see this psi1 orbital so this is the psi1 orbital plus 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 so all the lobes are having plus sign at one side so now you can see that this is the s orbital so s orbital if it is have minus it is having the minus sign then minus 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 so it can easily combine uh, with this ligand orbital now this is the pz orbital and this pz orbital you can see that this is the minus sign and this is the plus sign so you can see there may be the overlap that is minus 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 so minus minus overlap may be possible and in case of dz square this is minus and this is minus and in between there is positive sign so this minus this minus this minus this minus so this can combine with this ligand orbital which is having the psi1 we have donated it by psi1 so you can 
सी दैट दिस ऑर्बिटल कैन कंबाइन आइदर विद एस ऑर्बिटल और विद द पी ऑर्बिटल और विद द डी जेड स्क्वायर ऑर्बिटल ऑल दीज आर हैविंग द सेम सिमिट्री एज दैट ऑफ साई वन ऑर्बिटल नाउ दिस साई टू ऑर्बिटल इट इज हैविंग द सेम सिमिट्री एज पी एक्स एंड डी एक्स जेड ऑफ द मेटल सेंटर सो यू कैन सी दैट दिस इज द पी एक्स ऑर्बिटल दिस इज द साई टू ऑर्बिटल वन इज लोब इज हैविंग पॉजिटिव साइन एंड अदर इज हैविंग द नेगेटिव साइन ऑन द सेम साइड सो यू कैन सी दैट इट इज हैविंग नेगेटिव साइन सो दिस कैन ओवरलैप नेगेटिव नेगेटिव ओवरलैपिंग मे बी पॉसिबल एंड हेयर पॉजिटिव पॉजिटिव ओवरलैपिंग मे बी पॉसिबल सो दिस इज द पी एक्स ऑर्बिटल विच कैन इजिली कंबाइन विद द साई टू ऑर्बिटल ऑफ लिगेंट्स नाउ दिस इज द डी जेड एक्स जेड ऑर्बिटल वेयर यू कैन सी दैट इट इज द माइनस एंड दिस लोब इज पॉजिटिव सो दिस आईदर दिस और दिस दे कैन कंबाइन विद दिस साई टू मॉलिकुलर ऑर्बिटल नाउ दिस इज द साई थ्री ऑर्बिटल ऑफ लिगेंट्स यू कैन सी दिस इज पॉजिटिव साइन नेगेटिव पॉजिटिव सो इट इज विद टू नोट्स एंड इट कैन इजिली कंबाइन विद डी एक्स वाई सो यू कैन सी दैट दिस इज माइनस माइनस साइन सो दिस कैन कंबाइन एंड दिस माइनस एंड दिस माइनस दे कैन साइड वेज ओवरलैप विद दिस यू कैन सी सो दिस दिज ऑर्बिटल्स कैन कंबाइन इजिली एंड दे कैन फॉर्म पाई बॉन्ड ओके सो दे सर्च फॉर द मेटल ऑर्बिटल्स विद द सेम सिमिट्री सो दिस इज हैविंग द सेम सिमिट्री विद द डी एक्स वाई ऑर्बिटल ऑफ द मेटल सेंटर सो इन दिस वे द एलाइलिक कॉम्प्लेक्स कैन फॉर्म बॉन्ड विद द मेटल सो इट कैन डोनेट इट्स इलेक्ट्रॉन पेयर थ्रो साई वन एंड साई टू and accept it, it its electrons from the metal center in the psi3 molecular orbital this is the structure of metal allylic complexes where you can see that the hydrogen atoms present in the ch2 group uh, that are away from the metal center they are known as nt uh, they are represented by a at their subscript and the hydrogen atoms which are near to the metal center they are known as syn so this are these are syn hydrogens which are towards the metal center and uh, the hydrogen atoms which are uh, on the nt position uh, or which are far away from the metal center they are known as nt hydrogens and they are represented by a at their subscript this eta 3 allyl group often shows exchange of the syn and nt substituents syn and nt substituents they here the syn and nt substituents are hydrogen atoms so uh, this is uh, is uh, this allyl group is acting as eta 3 uh, ligand as all the three carbon atoms they are attached to the metal center so this eta 3 allyl group it often shows exchange of syn and nt uh, substituents this mechanism is known as uh, fluxionality which we will uh, discuss in a separate lecture on fluxionality behavior of allyl complexes and this exchange you can see that here the syn hydrogen is here uh, by after exchange of these two hydrogen atoms this nt hydrogen uh, shifts to here so you can see that there is exchange of these hydrogen atoms and this is known as fluxionality and this occurs via an eta 1 allyl intermediate okay so uh, its stereochemistry change with respect to the time now the preparation methods we will discuss about the preparation methods of uh, metal allylic complexes and uh there are four main methods i have taken only four general methods which are helpful in preparation of metal allyl complexes and this one is uh, the the synthesis or preparation of metal allyl complex from alkene compounds so this is an alkene compound where you can see that this is uh, the propene it is eta 2 propene because it is propene so it is only two electron donor and it can be represented by uh, by hepto Uh, as a bihepto 
ligand so this is equilibrium with this complex and you can see that from here one hydrogen uh, directly attached to this molybdenum and formation of eta 3 allyl complex will be formed so from simple propene or alkene compound uh, allyl complex can be formed so this is the allyl complex uh, this uh, dpe ligand is uh, this and uh, this is the eta 3 type of ligand now the second method is from nucleophilic attack of an allyl group on the metal so uh, the allyl group will attack on the metal atom as a nucleoph nucleophilic attack so this is an allylic complex and when it reacts with a halo carbonyl compound and by refluxing it we can uh, synthesize the metal allylic complex so in this preparation you can see that the positive part of this uh, carbonyl halide will add to the allylic group and formation of allylic uh, complex will take place so this is uh, again a eta 3 uh, ligand eta 3 type ligand allylic because all the C uh, carbon atoms they are attached to the metal center the third method for preparation of metal allyl complexes are uh, uh, the electrophilic attack of allylic compound on the metal so now you can see that this is a negative part so this negative part can attack on the positively charged allylic group and this is an electrophilic attack of this uh, allylic uh, group on this metal center so thus the formation of a metal allylic complex takes place uh, it is first uh, this eta 1 complex will be formed and then eta 3 complex will form so this is the eta 1 complex and this is the eta 3 in this you can see that uh, this uh, allylic group is attached through one carbon center and here uh, this is uh, attached through the three carbon uh, all the three carbons of the allylic group now the fourth method is uh, the uh, synthesis of metal allyl complex from the diene complexes so this is a butadiene complexes and it is uh, acting as eta 2 uh, uh, type of ligand here only one double uh, the metal is attached only through the one metal uh, uh, two carbon atoms to this metal center so this butadiene complex can be converted into uh, the uh, allyl complex in the presence of an acid these are the some chemical reactions which are shown by the allylic complexes so first reaction is the insertion reaction so insertion reaction is shown by the uh, metal allylic complexes here you can see that this is a nickel complex where the carbon dioxide can insert in this nickel allylic complex so they show insertion reactions the second kind of reaction is reductive elimination and here you can see that this uh, bromine in presence of tetracarbonyl nickel they reductively eliminate and then they can form nibr2 and this is the allylic uh, complex and then again it converts into different type of compounds so they show reductive elimination these two br groups they can reductively eliminate and then easily form such kind of compounds third kind of uh, reactions which have been shown by the allylic complexes is the nucleophilic attack so nucleophile can easily attack on this allylic group and here you can see that this al uh, this allylic group can add to this nucleophile through one carbon center so this uh, can uh, this nucleophile can easily attack on the metal allylic complex then electrophilic attack so electrophiles also attack uh, on the metal allylic complex and in one of the carbon of the allylic group so electrophile may be methyl hydrogen bromine or uh, these are the electrophiles and uh, this is the electrophilic attack of uh, electrophile on this allylic group of metal allylic complex now we can summarize the metal allylic complexes uh, uh, these uh, the, the ligands in the metal allylic complexes that are allylic ligands they are actor ligands and they may uh, add it to the metal center uh, as eta 1 or eta 3 ligand monohepto or trihepto ligands and uh, they can uh, 
first they can form sigma bond with the metal center through psi 1 and psi 2 molecular orbitals and pi bonding through psi 3 orbital and in the psi 3 orbital they can uh, uh, back uh, accept electron from the metal center now uh, we have seen the preparation methods the, uh, the main four preparation methods have been studied uh, from alkene compounds from nucleophilic attack from electrophilic attack of allyl uh, compound and from diene complexes we can easily synthesize the metal allylic complexes then uh, four chemical reactions we have studied that are insertion reactions reductive elimination reactions nucleophilic attack and electrophilic attack okay. so this is all about metal allylic complex thank you very much